All right. This game is called Skull the Hero Slayer. Uh, just got its 1.0 release. It's a rogue light, which is one of my favorite genres. Um, I've been getting into playing a bunch of these kinds of games. I was playing Noita, um, uh, Rogue Legacy, Rogue Legacy 2, obviously. Um, but games like that have always appealed to me, so I wanted to try out another one. And I saw this, and it looked uh, very much like Rogue Legacy remind, uh, reminded me of it. I've played a little bit of it. I reset all the cutscenes, so uh, you'll be able to see everything that I've seen so far. Let's see. <clears throat> Skull, I really think I have to tell you this. The day the first hero attacked us, do you remember? The ogre attacked us, controlled by a dark stone. You'd know by now, but that was no regular stone. Skull, the people who know about these stones call them dark quartz. Dark quartz carry unimaginable power. It seems like Carleon is using them for military purposes. Once they begin to fully use dark quartz, they will bring danger not only to the demon ca king castle, but to the whole continent of Harmonia. <clears throat> Luckily, the Carleon mages aren't capable of using the power of Dark Quartz at its full potential, but we can't spare them any more time. Gather the Dark Quartz they have. They should never gain the power of Dark Quartz. I know the right way to use them. I'll help you by using that power. The magic scroll will show you the path. You will become stronger. All right. So I have this scroll inside my head uh, It kind of tells me about my stuffs. Uh, it's where I can go to view menus and such. Right now I'm just me, Skull, uh, the youngest skeleton in the Demon King castle garrison, called Little Bone due to his small physique. He's common, his type is balance, so you'll see that up next to his name. Uh, in the first box, uh, it would be like his auto attack passives and the second box is usually his um, uh, switch technique and then he has a couple skills uh, on uh, left trigger I can throw his head and deal some magic damage uh, and I can actually pick it up to reset the cooldown and then on right trigger anytime you throw his head you can actually immediately move to where it is and kind of blink there and reattach, which is pretty sick. So let's see what's up. What's up with you? It says, doesn't look very good. This is better. He gives me a new head. Let's see, this says, recruit. Common balance, holding down the attack button initiates concentration. So this is going to have a slower slash. Recruit slash when swapping performs charging strike. Comrade system calls for it. It's an archer and attack dealing physical damage. Okay, I really don't like uh, anything with concentration, so I'm going to go ahead and just destroy this and use the base form for now. And then this guy gives me an item. Don't tell the witch. She said I should no spoil you with gifts. Let's see. Increase the skeleton soldier's physical and magic attack by 30%. Well, that's a bummer for destroying that head, but I can get another one down here somewhere. I prefer, like, pike people, specifically, are really good, in my opinion, because I like being able to have the, um, the range, di or the dash attack. Um, you are already invincible when you're dashing. You get a little bit of frame of an invincibility. Um, and there's some skills that modify it so it doesn't have an invincibility frame, but, um, your standard dash makes you invincible, so I like to absolutely use that to my advantage. And being able to have that be my primary attack as well definitely helps me out. Get over here. I'm going to try and no hit as much as possible. Um, I'm not good by any means, so um, I will definitely get hit. But. Ooh. I really want to minimize damage. Uh, 
early on, especially. Ooh, fuck. There we go. Uh, early on, because I'm not proficient at fighting the first boss yet. Um, I really, I always rush it. So I want to take it much slower this time when I fight. Uh, and be really methodical. Try and see if I can learn the attack patterns a little bit better and take advantage of uh, what are the skulls I'm using at the time. Let's see, so we'll get a new skull here. This is the skeleton sword. So this is the other type of like basic sword and uh, type guy. So he just kind of swipes, has a little combo. His dash is regular. He doesn't do anything fancy with his dash. Let's look at the scroll. So when attacking en enemies, there's a 5% chance to inflict a bleed. And when swapping, all of my attacks inflict bleeds on attacked targets for six hours. Um, the Rusty Piercer charges forward, dealing physical damage. Okay, so he does a charge attack. So he's going to be quite a bit stronger. So look, he's doing like a 10. Let's see. Oh, that was stupid. I want to like gauge his damage. So let's see here. 8, 8, 20, 10, 10, 12, 16. Okay. Versus your boy. 7, 12, 7, 10, 7, 10, 7, 9, 9, 9. Okay. So you're just getting bigger numbers off this guy. And the ability to crit, the ability to bleed. Uh, is good. So these doors grant you an item at the end. These doors grant you a skull at the end usually. And then the base door uh, gives you whatever it wants. Usually it's just like money. So I don't want to get hit by that, so I will faint. Oh god! I missed my jump. I'm terrible at this game. Um, I promise as I play I will get better. I really want to improve at games like this and uh, get more skill based. Um, one of the reasons I like I like rogue lights versus rogue uh, games or rogue like games is I like to have an RPG element, something to upgrade to make it a little bit easier over time because I do want to improve and have my skills drive me, but I also don't want to get stuck on one part of the game and just get to the point where there's a particular part of the game that frustrates me and it no longer becomes fun. So, having the ability, oop, hey big guy, having the ability to um, swap up a little bit and change my build up or uh, progress through some other methods allows me to uh, defeat these uh, challenges in different ways, makes it not, um, not as taxing as like a regular roguelike game. Ooh, Iron Shoes of Bitter Cold creates a 20% chance of freezing enemies that you land on after jumping. Okay, increases magic attack. Not using magic attack, but that's okay. It's still pretty cool. Look, a kitty. Ooh, that was cute. Strange cat. Whoa, little skeleton. How did you get in? I've heard some people accidentally drift into this place, but a skeleton? Anyway, welcome. This is your first time here, right? This is a subspace in the demon world that my ancestors created a long time ago. For now, it's being used as a shelter from Carleon's invasion. You're looking for the Demon King. Perhaps you should talk to the other experts in the shelter. Good luck finding him. I'm going to go eat some fish now. Yeah, bye. Okay, so there are different aspects of this place, but this is basically your shop. So, this is your... Oh, excuse me. This is your restaurateur. He gives you different foods. They all do different things. They always restore HP and then give you a buff for a certain number of maps or whatnot. 
Um, this is your basic item shop. Uh, you usually get three choices. You have the ability to reroll as well. Uh, this guy has heads that he will give you, so he can give you different types of. Price three gold to cast. Interesting. Um, so he will give you new heads, but he takes your the head that you're uh, you're holding. So don't make sure when you pick it up, your head goes onto him. So make sure um, it's not a head you want. <laughs> so let's get some uh, contextual stuff here done. Talk. Hey, you're way too. Whoa, what? Apparently, I cannot hit the button on that, or it will skip. There used to be a time I worked in the Demon King castle. I was the previous Demon King's personal chef. He used to reject any food that wasn't cooked by me, and always told me that my dishes were good. I was moved. After he passed away, it was too difficult to work in a place where he didn't exist. Now I'm content with my little shop. He says, hey, you're way too thin. You're literally nothing but bones, haha. Wait, I want to try something. Taste this. Wait, do you even have a mouth? Whoa, where'd the food you ate just go? Alright, so that's repeating now. What's up with the shopkeepers called the Collector? Nice to meet you, young man. Young skeleton, excuse me. I've got the finest collections of items in all of Harmonia. You don't need to worry about the thieves here. Take your time to look around. Would you like to make a purchase? I only accept gold. If the situation outside settles down, I better go see the witch. You can learn a lot from talking to her. And who knows? She might have connections that can raise the quality of my goods. Hmm. Might as well see the ogre fella on the way. Okay. There are a couple other vendors. There's a vendor up here. And a vendor over here. This one does quintessence stuff. Uh, and I can't for the life of me remember what this person does. Uh, but figured out so do I want bonus attack do I want explosion or do I want more gold hmm I feel like I'm just gonna go the basic attack route this guy by the way attacks there's a 10% chance anytime he hits somebody that he's just gonna gain money which is kind of dope um so I'll probably roll as him for now, because free money. Uh, actually, I'm going to go back to the other guy for this fight, because I want to be tipped up. guy's a tool. Who are you? What's a skeleton doing here? Good, I could use a bit of practice. Blah, blah, blah. No, I can do this. Alright, let's see here. Uh, I don't think you can, son. Come here. Bitch ass. Ow! He hurts like a motherfucker. Uh, oh, get away! So, I need to remember to use my uh, let me... Stop that. Ow. I need to remember to swap so I can get those bleeds off. That big charge attack. Ah, uh how? -huh. Uh, trigger. Beat the hell out of him. On my own. I'm just gonna try and rush it. There we go. So yeah, I'm not proficient in boss fighting unless I have certain of these guys, and I'm not. Um, I'm not proficient with all of the heads yet. Okay. That seems too messy. That's a common one. This is unique, so that's definitely gonna be my pickup uh, items damage bonus increases by 30 okay so 
pick up. So I want speed skulls if I'm operating with this. Execute madness. Now let's talk about these little uh, thingies here on the side. These uh, set bonuses that uh, you get. Every item has a couple set bonuses. Or, excuse me, set effects. <clears throat> uh, they stack. If you get higher levels of them, they obviously get much more powerful. Um, so you can have a bunch of different set bonuses, and that's nice, but it's much better to have one very powerful set bonus most of the time. This lady allows you to upgrade your um, skeleton you're wearing, or your skull you're wearing. Uh, the issue is she requires bones to do it. And I don't have bones, so... Uh, I've been waiting. I was promised to help you. Don't ask why. Don't bother asking because I'm not helping you out of pity either. Well, that's that. You gain power from the heads of others, but the heads you've obtained are pitiful indeed. In the hands of a weak skeleton like you, those heads are not showing their full potential. Be thankful that you met me. My abilities work hand in hand in hand with creatures like you. Collect and bring me some bone fragment. I'll help you with my powers. Okay, so. Basically... There's common, rare, unique, and legendary, I think. Uh, there might be some something else in there. Um, excuse me. Um, but she upgrades that tier. It's kind of like, uh, you know, the, the qualification, kind of like a in World of Warcraft when you're you get purple gear versus blue gear. Uh, adding the bones to head brought your naval shards of true powers also promise you one thing. Tell the witch that you've received my help. Don't ask why now go bring me some bones, she says. Do I want money or do I want items? I like items. Let's get some fucking items. I want item effects, because I like seeing new item effects. That makes me happy, huh? Stop trying to drop things on me, please. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Alright. Ooh. I do like freezing people, though. That's pretty dope. Ow, he hit me in the back. Be more careful. Okay. There is a little trap room over there. Is there any way or reason to get in there? I don't know. Go break it. What we got? Okay. So now when you swap, it throws those three boxes up, which is actually um, reminiscent of one of the... Oh, and I get a time bomb. That's sick. Uh, one of the characters, the clown, actually has that as their ability sometimes. The ability to... Uh, Oof. Run and throw a trail of boxes is one of the abilities that they have. Uh, hopefully I have enough money. Oop. For some food, the next time I go to the shop. You know what? I should be running around in this farm so I can make some more money. Oof. Look at all that extra dollars and dollars in there. Yeah. Ooh, that's gonna be a sick item. What's up? Unique. Successful quintessence attack. Increased magic attack by 100% for 5 seconds? Okay. So, I need to get a speedy magic user, and that will be busted. Alright, let's see here. I do not have enough money. Oh, man. That is magic damage, and that is magic damage. I will flip and take it. Um, I like making money, son, but I like the attack patterns and the abilities of the other skelly better, so I'm going to do this. And now I have this kind of thing going on. 
Okay, so what do I do? When attacking with normal attacks, there's a 10% chance to inflict freeze on enemies. When swapping, hurl several ice fragments that deal magic damage. And I can fling three of those as my attack as well, it looks like. Alright, let's see what I got. I've got March 2, Endure 1. Uh, I've got Increase HP, Increase Skill, skill. Alchemy. Stats effects are inflicted. Okay, you permanent damage bonus when inflicting a skill on enemies that you can almost sometimes freeze them. Uh, there's a bomb, there's a cooldown suite of swapping. Execute. Attack speed increase. Uh, dual. Quintessence cooldown. Lightning bolt. Okay. I'm not going to read all those in detail. Y'all can pause the video if you want to read those. Mm -hmm. What's up? Oh, shoot. That's hilarious. Just auto kills him. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Who just got me, son? Ow, ow, oh. Fire mage, not good. Getting my butt clobbered. Let's see if there's any secrets. Nope. Uh, I'm good with my skeleton. I need some cold hard cash because I think I can fight a boss with 12 health here in a second. Which is not going to be good for me, but if I get the chance to shop, then I may have a chance. Oh, stop. Oh, no! My head flew off. So, there's my first death. Uh, yeah. So, there's uh, my first attempt. 18 minute playthrough. As you can see, I've got 29 deaths so far. Uh, so, I've got a little bit of experience in the game. Um... But, uh, yeah, I'll try and make a couple of these and see how they go. Uh, hopefully, if you guys like them, uh, I can keep them coming. Uh, I'll obviously try and get better. And uh, give me a like if you uh, like this kind of content.